What is done with the aborted fetuses in abortion clinics? To be clear, this isn't a political post. I've heard that they throw them in the dumpster but that seems. IDK. Too crude to be true? Edit I'm not sure how to say this but top level comments have been getting automatically removed newest comment is from 4 hours, presumably to reduce spam, so only I get to see your painfully unfunny they get turned into smoothies comment in my notification bar before it's gone forever. I can answer this I worked at a medical and hazardous waste disposal company for 5 years. We got in all kinds of things from organs and veins, needles and small jars of piss, to food waste, coffins, stoves covered in blood. Just about everything went though the autoclave which is basically a big metal tube that uses pressurized steam to decontaminate medical waste and made it safe for the landfill. Other items, such as drugs went to incineration. Edit so to answer your question it's handled by a medical waste company and they are most likely autoclaved or incinerated. Incinerated just like amputated limbs, or cancer growths that has been removed, or your appendix the doctor took out. It's medical waste and you can't just throw that in the dumpster. I would assume most medical waste gets incinerated. They are certainly not just chucking fetuses in the trash any biological waste is a biohazard, and needs to be sterilized either incinerated, or superheated with steam a process known as autoclaving. Aborted fetal tissue, depending on length of gestation, is often indistinguishable from a large blood clot. It is disposed of in the contaminated waste and incinerated. This is from the perspective of surgical abortion fairly early in pregnancy or following a miscarriage, but this could be slightly different in specialist abortion clinics. I wonder whether clinics offer an option for the parents to obtain the remains for burial or cremation. I know we don't do that in the hospital. Most abortions will be early, so you are talking about a mass of cells blood clots. In the UK, maximum time for abortion is 5 months, which is very rare and likely to take place in a hospital as the mother has to give birth. Like amputations, removed organs etc., remains are incinerated. If I had to guess, it depends on the hospital clinic but from my time working trash at a hospital, anything that was made of tissue, or otherwise was biological and wasn't blood, was incinerated. I had to carry about 16 feet across the hospital to the trash room in my seven months working there. I had a miscarriage and asked and was told cremation. This was at a non-denominational surgical center, I recall the Catholic hospital system was slightly different and somehow had a burial for the fetuses. Editing to add I had a DC for my miscarriage so basically an abortion. Makes me wonder who out there really believes that there are people that hate babies so much that they are performing late-term abortions of almost due fetuses and throwing them unceremoniously into a dumpster for the city dump to come pick up. You'd have to be stupid or mentally ill to believe it. Into the incinerator with the rest of the medical waste. When I had a miscarriage, I was told by the nurse that all the tissues that are miscarried on site in the hospital are stored, then buried at a nearby memorial site on a monthly basis. This is so that the mothers can visit them if they want to. It wasn't for me, but somehow I found it very reassuring and exceedingly kind. I guess you also have to remember that some early abortions, up to about 12 weeks I believe, won't be a fetus. It'll be a pill the woman takes and has a heavy period miscarriage at home. OP whoever you heard this from, I recommend not listening to anything they say ever again. With the patient's permission, most of the time it is donated to studies, medical research, DNA studies. It depends on state law. In some states, the fetus has to be treated like human remains, which means sending it to a funeral home or crematorium to be prepared for burial or cremation. In other states it can be treated as medical waste, which means it gets sent for incineration. In the early 1990s I worked at a homeless shelter with mentally ill patients. One of the patients had an abortion and she brought the medical waste with her to the shelter in a vacuum sealed bag. She was out of her head with anger and grief and threw the sealed bag at one of my colleagues. It stayed sealed, but we were all pretty horrified. It's basically treated as all medical biohazard waste, such as removed organs, and things contaminated with blood. It's disposed of in a medical devices that decontaminated it and reduces it to a more manageable waste. 
Some fetuses how Eve, are donated to science. The abortion clinic I shadowed at would dispose of the tissue for you medical waste or keep it to be picked up by the patient for memorial burial purposes. Same thing that is done with them in hospitals. Cremation usually. Some used for medical studies. When I had a miscarriage, I was told by the nurse that all the tissues that are miscarried on site in the hospital are stored, then buried at a nearby memorial site on a monthly basis. This is so that the mothers can visit them if they want to. It wasn't for me, but somehow I found it very reassuring and exceedingly kind. I was asked if I was willing to donate the tissue, embryo, it was voluntary and I said yes. I did ask out of sick curiosity what it looked like and she said a heavy clotty period. Isn't it usually just like a large blood clot? What do you do with that? It varies but they are treated ethically. Idiots will tell you they are airdropped to Hillary Clinton's personal chef. We took the remains home and found a nice spot. My wife now knits small containers so others can take them home with more respect than we were afforded. Like all medical waste of human origin, they get cremated. The fuck is up with these comments? And there are new billboards here Oakland, California that state that at nine weeks from fertilization the fetus has fingerprints. Oh really? Doesn't even have fingers at that stage. Logically the only concern is biohazard. Burial would be an emotional choice. Cremation would be the efficient choice. And repurposed as tissue for scientific research would be a pragmatic choice. Lot of fucking disgusting people in this thread. My fiancé had an abortion and she more or less just bled it out, like a period, and had to wear nappies because there was so much blood. Throwing them in a dumpster would attract animals so no way. Incineration At our hospital, the socks that line the suction machine and collect the products are placed in little cardboard boxes which are taken to our local crematorium for incineration. Edit just to clarify, the crematorium has a contract with the hospital, it's where all of our body parts type medical waste is disposed of. Medical waste, used for research. I would have assumed they were incinerated with all the other medical waste of that sort. Or if someone from Florida is here they turn them into little zombies to sneak into your house. As many other smarter and more knowledgeable people in this thread have said it is dealt with the same way all medical waste is. But this is a really good question that was worth asking. Thank you for asking it. They sell them to Eric Cartman. Same place where all other medical waste goes to. What I remembered aborted fetuses are used for medical experiments and stem cell research. Pretty much aborted fetuses are very valuable and worth a lot of money.